What is going on, Hampton? Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it's time to watch this video. We're out here today, it's feeling great. It's Saturday. I was in the field all week, but I'm here with Brady. <laughs> oh, nah, nah, nah. We're about to go work out real quick. Uh, all the gyms are closed, so we're going to do a little quick little hit workout for about 20 minutes. And uh, you're stupid as hell. And then I'm gonna give you a little review on the Rough Country Lift, show you guys how I like it, dislike it, my thoughts about it, and if you should buy one for the prices they sell them at. No. Whew, just got finished working out not too long ago. Had a nice little workout outside. Feeling great today. It's probably like 80 degrees now. Sun is up. Pearson's <laughs> cute. No, 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 no. All right, so first startup in about a week. Truck has been sitting for about Five days, seven. Look at that. Honestly, it's been sitting for a while. So we're gonna make a nice little cold start for the boys. No glove plug start? Nah. As the truck's warming up, uh, today's video is just going to be a quick little walk around of the 6 inch Rough Country lift. Uh, like I said, previous and a couple months ago, I had this lift for a deal, so uh, I had to go with it, couldn't turn that down really. So I didn't really want to choose Rough Country at first, but I'm going to give you some pros and cons to the lift kit, and I'm going to give you a little comparison with Kennerson's 2016 Cummins with a Rough Country leveling kit versus mine six inch with three inch skis. So, let's get started. All right, so, first and foremost, I'll actually plug in a picture, or so, first and foremost, you wanna talk about angles when you buy a lift kit, right? Like, you worry about your tie rod angles if you have an IFS lift kit, or you worry about your steering angles if you have a, you know, solid axle, so. Uh, these angles when I first put the lift kit on were not too bad. Honestly, I'll throw in a picture right here and they were really flat. Like honestly the flattest and that was without the blocks, mind you, because I only had like two days to install the lift kit. But when I installed the lift kit, I also upgraded the control arm or yeah. Upper control arms. So Kryptonite has these awesome upper control arms. As dirty as crap right now. Ooh. Yeah, so, but anyways, they drop down like an inch or two, and then they set the angle a lot better on the uh, spindle. So it looks a lot better and a lot cleaner, and you're not maxing out your stock ball joints. So I had to upgrade that when I bought the Rough Country because I knew I was getting a cheaper lift kit, but it also was a cheap lift kit. So if you want to buy a lift kit, you're talking about prices, Rough Country, yeah, it's cheap, and it's not made with the best quality but it'll get the job done obviously it's six inches in the air and it wasn't too expensive so we, that was that but anyways the angles weren't too bad on the tie rods either so when you talk about tie rods now i have the three inch lift keys in here as well the tie rods aren't that or the cv axles excuse me disregard cv axles aren't that bad you know i mean they're they're a little crank that's only because i have the three inch keys in there now but like i said with the picture i just plugged in earlier you can see that they were flat as can be with a regular turn down six inch lift kit i could obviously take the lift keys out and then put small tires on here and have the cv axles as flat as can be but the ride quality on a rough country is better than some lifts obviously if you have lift keys and you know cut the bump stops out as you line of boys like to do it ain't, it ain't gonna ride that bad but you know riding with regular new shocks new control arms and a new lift kit with all new components it's not gonna ride as bad as you expect it to now come over here 
With the blocks that they provide in the lift kit, since the 2500s have bigger leaf springs than a regular 1500, it has the overload spring in it built into it. So we have the three inch lift keys up in the front. And this is the, I think it's like a four inch block they give you in the regular like lift kit. This is the three inch maxed out with cribs and control arms and four inch blocks in the back. Now that's not too bad of a squat. Uh, it's actually subpar noticeable, I guess you could say. I do have drop shackles to put in there. It's gonna be tooted up. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Boom, now we're back at it. So, we got the regular stock shocks in the front. I just got the regular basic six inch at that. And um, the pros to that, it came with shocks, that's the only pro to it. The cons is it's not as good as ride quality as it could be with the bypass, you know, the, um, the bypass shock with the tube. I really want that one, the one with the reservoir. But if anything, I'll just upgrade it to the Bilstein or the Fox reservoir shocks for now King. until I solid axle it. Do what? King shocks. King shock, coilover conversion, build my own kit. Who, Who knows? knows? Who Jinx. knows? But yeah, so let's give a little comparison to Brady's truck. Brady, what's on your truck? Two and a half inch. All right, so thing. Brady's got two and a half inch on his two 2016 Cummins. And uh, this is on 35s, and mine's on 37s with six inches and three, so it's nine inches of lift. And this is two and a half. I mean, yeah, Dodges do have a bigger chassis, but look at that. If I had like a true seven inch FTS or something like that, it would be a lot bigger. Let me close up. So yeah, so needless to say, regardless, if you want to get a cheaper brand lift kit like Rough Country, uh, it's honestly worth what you pay for, I guess you could say, because you know, you know you're not going to get, you know, FTS or show off a Cognito quality, but you're also still getting a lift kit for a decent price, you know? And then if anything, you want to upgrade it to the new control arms like I have, you can upgrade all the other components and it'll make it a lot better as well. So you're just getting what you pay for. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm kind of glad I went with it at the same time because at the time I needed something fast and they got it there within two days and it got the job done. So I can't really complain with that and it's treated me well so far. But obviously in the future, I've been telling you guys, I've been wanting to straight axle swap this thing with some coilovers one day. And uh, I can see that happening probably the next two years. I don't think I'll ever sell the truck to be honest. I uh, hope they have it on the channel the whole time and then just get project cars and trucks along the way. But yeah, so probably going to upgrade to the bypass reservoir shocks or shocks uh maybe next year or so who knows but uh that's all i gotta say i mean really excited to have the uh parts come on very soon so what we got planned for the duramax is lift pump in the next two weeks hopefully ladies and gentlemen and we got the uh, three inch down pipe coming soon as well. And this week, this week you'll see this video Thursday hopefully. We got the blocker plate that I have been meaning to install for like over a year now. And I finally hopefully can have time Wednesday or Thursday and we could do that. So we're going to install the blocker plate in the engine bay and we're going to have it fully deleted. And then we can hopefully get the PCB reroute going as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to order a new mouthpiece or not, but I'm going to do some... Uh, inspections on that and then we'll get with you as soon as we can do that but me and brady are definitely going to do the egr blocker plate this weekend because i'm tired of having all that soot go right back into the manifold into the engine it's just not healthy for it so stay tuned for that video thank you guys so much for watching today's video like i said if you need a rough country lift or if you need a lift in a very fast timely manner and you know not that great but you just need something to lift it up and you want to you know be tooted up as these line boys say then yeah sure go ahead and spend you know six or six hundred dollars to a thousand dollars on that and just get a nice little lift kit for the price okay but thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did like today's video and you learned something new Drop a like and subscribe. It really means a lot to your boy. If anything, just like the video. That's all I really care about. But thank you guys so much. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
I tell them I made it. Money long, but they money be faded. Run the run, I'm back to the base. Moving fast, cause I don't got no patience. I'm a doctor, I'm fucking up patience. And how much she deliver my baby? All these fluids gon' have us today. No pressure, I get elevated. Moving slow like I work for the major. Buy my money, I'm getting impatient. Can't wait to say I made it. Baby, I'm getting impatient. Please just have my baby. Blue dreams, I'm trying to Love your wife, I don't got no problems, I'm on 19 Yeah, she biting cause she love, I'm biting